Hi guys, this is Shelly with Teen King 247.com coming to you with Monday's motivational message. In today's topic, we're going to be talking about overcoming doubting yourself. Never, ever, 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 ever doubt yourself. Believe that what is in you is meant to be in you and the business that you're in is where you're supposed to be. You're in the right place at the right time, doing the right things with the right people. You have to reassert yourself and build the confidence that you need to go forth. Now, the way we can tend to build that self-doubt is if we are unsure of our capabilities. If we have some sort of uh, fear or hesitation or, or re reservation rather to move forward and just to step outside of our comfort zone, that will then cause us to doubt ourselves. And what we're actually doing is deceiving ourselves. We're led to believe by our own thoughts that that which we are working towards or the reason why we got in business in the first place was to have that that freedom that time freedom to have that financial stability and that freedom to be able to do the things that we've been wanting to do for who knows how long and we have yet to do it so therefore when you have that on the inside of you that's your fire that's what gets you going but there's a hesitancy you haven't yet fulfilled it so what i want to encourage all of us including myself is that we have to when we have those thoughts those negative thoughts and those doubting thoughts where we're deceiving ourselves we have to cast it down we have to pull them down and take them into captivity and I know you all that um, study the word, you know exactly what I'm referring to. We have to bring it into captivity because one, we're worth it. We're definitely worth it. And we, as much as the next person, can work and strive to get it. So you have to press as much as you can, step outside of our comfort zone and do what it is we know to do to be able to take ourselves and our family to that next level. Then secondly, we have to subject it to the word. Now, I'm saying the word because that's what I believe. That's how my household is run. So for you, it may be something else. But there's a scripture reference. I think it's 2 Corinthians 5. Um, 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 5. And it says, Casting down imaginations in every high thing, that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and bringing it into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ so if it's not lining up with what you visualize and envision yourself to accomplish you have to bring it into captivity and you have to subject it to those things that you know to be true about you and then the last thing is the way we can reaffirm to ourselves that we are well capable, we are worthy, and we have the ability to do those things that we need to do to be successful is positive images and affirmations. We have to put them in our eyesight wherever we may be, whether that's in your bedroom, in your kitchen, in your bathroom, in your cube at work, on your phone, anything that's going to pop up and constantly remind you of who you are and who you're striving to be. We have to take those negative dot, thoughts, excuse me, negative thoughts and turn them into positive. And we have to keep saying them to ourselves. So here's an exercise for you. At the end of your day, after you've written out your affirmations, you want to read and say out loud your affirmations. Make it the last thing you do before you go to bed and the first thing you do when you get up in the morning. Read your affirmations because what that will do is enforce it into your subconscious, not your conscious, but your subconscious. And once you start believing or once your subconscious start believing what it is that you are saying out of your mouth, your mind will in interpret it. And then you'll start fulfilling those things that you need to do to be successful. This is Shelly with TeamKing247.com. I hope you guys got some value out of today's message. I hope it encouraged you.
If it did, we appreciate you leaving your comments below, liking and sharing our content. If you're watching this on YouTube, give us a thumbs up. We appreciate it. And also subscribe to our channel so that you can be notified when new episodes appear. Until next time, this is Shelly with Team King 24-7 telling you to stay in it to win it. You guys have a great day.